All right, we'll continue with another example. I have a rectangle layer at the top and I will use our new feature, variables. You may find the variable panel right here in the lower left corner. Uh, this way you can hide it and this is uh, how you unhide it and make it visible. Uh, tap on the plus icon to create a new variable. You have two kinds of variables um, for all scenes as well as for this scene. Uh, this concept is pretty similar to uh, global and local variables that you that you may encounter in programming languages. Um, for all scenes basically means that a variable uh, is accessible and can be used um, throughout all the scenes that you have in your Pi. Uh, whereas for this scene simply means that a variable can only be used in a specific scene. That's it. Um, so yeah, let's um, let's create one. I'm gonna go for this one, and um, I will rename it. Just double tap on it. Coordinate, and a variable can have three kinds of values. Um, one is number, the other two are text and color. And for number, you can enter any kind of numerical value uh, like this. Um, you can use up to th two decimals. And for this example, uh, I will stick to zero. And for text, you can punch in any kind of string value. And for color, you can pick your favorite color to start off with. Um, so that is uh, that is all possible in Protopy 3.9. But like I said, I will stick to zero for this example, which I have here. And um, now I'll start making my interactions. Oh, not this one. I like to use our new response assign. Um, this is also uh, this is what we introduced in Protopy 3.9, and this works with variables. So you can select the right variable, coordinate, and you can enter a formula. Uh, so formula I I um, I briefly explained in the in the previous example, um, and I'm gonna punch in a formula right here. Uh, which is coordinate plus oh, plus 50. And if it's a variable, you can just use the name of the variable and that's it. You can use it. You don't have to use um, you don't have to use the back tick like you have to when it comes to layers. So just type the name of the variable and that's it. So what I want is coordinate plus 50. What it means is that I take the initial value of the variable coordinate and add 50 to it and this new value um, will override what the initial value of coordinate might be. And if you tick this you may see the value of uh, the variable coordinate right here as well as in your preview window. So let's see if it works. Um, so what I created is that if I tab the blue layer, uh, the value of coordinate should change. And it seems to work. Um, if we look at the formula that I created, so it's coordinate plus 50, uh, meaning that for every tab, uh, coordinate should, the value of coordinate should increase by 50. And that seems to work perfectly. All right, so I will use a, another interaction, which is um, I'll use the detect trigger. And this is um, one of the new triggers that we have. Um, basically what detect does is it looks for any kind of change that um, in this example, um, the variable coordinate undergoes. You can use it for layers, you can uh, use it for variables as well. So any kind of change that is detected by this trigger, it initiates uh, certain responses. 
Um, so the response that I want to use is a move and I want to use the blue layer and um, let's see what I want is coordinate there we go so let's see how it works for every tap the value of the variable coordinate uh, increases by 50 and any change this variable coordinate undergoes um, activates or executes another response which is the move response using the detect trigger and as we can see here uh, everything seems to work so this is how you can use variables this is how you can use uh, formulas as well as the assign response as well as the detect trigger in Protopy 3.9. If, if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment below, send an email at, to support at protopy.io or just join our Facebook group and ask you a question there. Thank you for watching.